China has hit back at what it calls irresponsible and misleading criticism of the arrest of seven people linked to Stand News. Several foreign governments here have, uh, have con condemned yesterday's police action against the media outlet and the wide-ranging crackdown on press freedom in Hong Kong. But there was a statement issued by the Secretary of State of the United States. And again, they um, uh, sort of made all sorts of allegations and accusations about this uh, incident. Uh, there was this very short phrase in the statement. He said that journalism is not sedition. Well, I agree with that. Journalism is not sedition. But seditious acts and activities and inciting uh, other people through public acts and activities could not be condoned under the guise of news reporting. It should be very clear what is reporting of news and what is seditious acts or activities to undermine national uh, uh, security. The National Security Police have alleged that Stan News printed articles inciting hatred against the authorities. Two former Stan News editors have been formally charged with conspiracy to publish seditious materials. A Hong Kong court has denied their bail. The pair will remain in custody until their next hearing. A three others detained yesterday have been released. Singer and pro-democracy activist Denise Ho was granted bail this evening. Barrister Margaret Ng and social worker Christine Fung have also been released for now. They were all former board members of Stan News. The outlet was shut yesterday following the arrests.